Hey, Kevin, come on over here to the photography department. Some of the divers want to talk about GoPro accessories. Hi, it's Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000, with some tech tips. This isn't really so much tech tips as it is uh, just a bit of product knowledge, some ideas on what you can do with your GoPro. The GoPro camera is very popular, isn't it, Kevin? That's what Kevin uses for these fantastic videos. And, uh, and it, it's wonderful for underwater. It, it is the very, very best for video, other than, of course, going to a professional system. Uh, and, and the GoPro has just taken over YouTube and taken over underwater video. Many professional photographers actually take their GoPro with them on their still photography, too. We'll talk about that very briefly. I should mention GoPro, by the way, uh, the brand name has done a very good job for itself. Keep in mind, however, that you don't necessarily have to buy your underwater video camera from GoPro. There are other brands that make some models available, usually for a lot less money. These models, for example, which we sell at Scuba 2000, other places as well, are the same, identical to GoPro, for about half the price. Do the same job, exactly the same mechanism. But anyway, that's another story. You'll have to decide on that. So you have a GoPro, and it came to the waterproof housing. Fantastic. Be very careful. Get it into your waterproof housing, and off you go. Now, you know very well that the GoPro camera itself is quite small. If you hold the GoPro camera in your hand, it's very jittery. It doesn't make for a very nice video. It's nice to have a nice, solid, smooth movement. And that's hard to do with the tiny, plastic, lightweight GoPro. So one of the very first things you might want to do with your GoPro camera, you get some kind of a mount to mount the camera on. A very simple mount would be like this. It'd be just a tray. GoPro camera mounts on the bottom, and off you go. You can actually mount a light on there. But now you see you have a handle that you can hang on to firmly, and now you can use that handle to move the GoPro smoothly through the water, point it down and up without having more the jittery effects. It also makes the whole device a little larger, less likely to fall, uh, get lost, and so on. You use a lanyard to attach this to your wrist or to your scuba equipment. So the very simplest way to hold the GoPro is with a simple handle and tray mechanism. Here's the ultimate that's just uh, just uh, has grown from that same thing. This is a tray and a handle. Well, actually, it's two handles, obviously. This has two handles on it. And, in fact, we've gone a step farther. We need some light. It's always better when you're doing video with GoPro or any camera to have a light. On this particular one, we have two lights. So you have plenty of light now to get uh, the bright colors from the, uh, from the coral or from the fishes as you're somewhere around. Lots of light on here. And these lights can be swung around and moved up and down, in and out and close. Beautiful system and not overly expensive, something like that. And now you can get great videos with your GoPro camera. But what else can you do? Well, there's some, there's some, uh, some uh, things that are very valuable. Some divers have found them very good. Uh, I don't know. You might think they're funny. Or some divers think they're good. I'm referring specifically to this type of thing. Aha! You've all seen YouTube videos. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> where the 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 uh, the fellow on the motocross motorcycle or bicycle, maybe it's a BMX bicycle or a car, whatever, has taking a GoPro video while he's racing around. He has the camera mounted on his helmet. Well, we can do the same thing as divers. We can get we have adapters, two or three different types of adapters that will actually clamp your GoPro to your mask, so your entire dive is now recorded. I hope to, uh, I, I would like to think that you do edit the GoPro so your 15 or 20 minute long uh, video with all the good, bad, and the ugly in there is reduced to maybe four or five minutes of good video for your friends and family to enjoy. But anyway, this is one thing you can do to mount your GoPro. Uh, a couple other things you can do, a lot of you are under underwater photography. A lot of divers do this. They can take their, their underwater camera and pick up one of these hot shoe mounts. And the hot shoe mount goes right onto the hot shoe mount of the camera locks on there very firmly and now your gopro mounts on top of that there's a gopro mount you see so now you're down there taking pictures whoa nice more right yips oh look at over there there's kevin and and so on and while you're taking your shots of, of underwater the gopro is recording the whole dive it can be really fantastic it's pretty neat when you watch the video every once in a while there's a bright flash like a flash of lightning and people say what's that that's your camera flash right now. That's pretty neat. So that's another option for you. Uh, here's a very, very simple way to accomplish two things. First of all, make your GoPro a little more manageable, so it's a little easier to handle, and give you light as well. This is a special unit, inexpensive, with a light on it. And once again, you turn on the light. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean the flash in your eyes. Or you turn on the light, and now you can aim your GoPro, look through if you have the, uh, the video back or not, look, and you get fantastic videos with a very, very simple arrangement like this. Great way to go. 
Let me show you a couple more quick products. There are several different lights on the market. This particular one from Light and Motion is one of the one of the very, very best. And you can see, you can hardly tell there's anything attached to the GoPro. There's the GoPro, and there's the light attached to it. My gosh, it's not much bigger. You can mount this onto a tripod if you're on land, or you can adapt this to fit on any one of these other devices. And these lights are fantastic. One button turns it on, and the other button chooses whether it's a floodlight or a point where you can have them both. I'll show you that in just a minute. But there's a simple example of a very small, very powerful, and very reliable light for your GoPro. You really have to have some light for your GoPro. Without light, you're going to get lots of blue pictures. Here's the ultimate. This belongs to my wife, Diana. This is what Diana uses when we travel. We're off to Palau and Truck Lagoon in a couple of weeks, and this is what she'll be using. Of course, Diana gets whatever she wants. She's my wife, you know. That's not the way it works. You know that. Hey, guys, are married. This is called a mini monopod from Sea Life, and you can see it's very easy to pack into your dive bag. <clears throat> At the same time, it's also very easy to open it up, and now you can get close to the fishes. Fishes are afraid of your body. They're not afraid of extensions like this. You can get up close to the fish. Or down underneath the coral, looking up under the coral, looking for the lobsters and the crabs and so on. This particular one has a couple of articulations in there. You can bend it any way you want. And it does have one of those nice lights. This one's mounted on a flex arm from Light Motion. I can turn this one on. I know this one's charged up because I charged it. So there's one light, a flood light. There's a pointy light. Pointy light. Sure, that's a word. And there's both of them on. You see, lots of light for getting those great shots of the bright red and yellow coral and the moray eel and the lobster. So you can turn it off. Knock you over. So this is a, just turn it off like that, see? And so this is a, a, it's kind of the ultimate system. You can put a lanyard on this, attach it to your wrist or attach it to your body, jump in the water very simply, one hand on it, away you go and have a fantastic day. Now this is just a few of the ideas. There are lots and lots of GoPro accessories for underwater. Uh, these are a few of them. These are probably the ones that we know work well. They're well made, usually made of aluminum or, or very well made from plastic. They all use original GoPro screws and threads. They're designed to work with GoPro. So we know that these products, and we have a few others as well, work really, really well. Go to your local dive store, ask about GoPro accessories. Failing that, give me a call or a message here at Scuba 2000. I'll try to direct you to the right place. It works really, really well. It makes your whole dive much more exciting, and you can share it with your friends as well. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. There's lots of GoPros out there. Hope there's lots of GoPro divers. So maybe that's a new uh, certification. I can maybe make a course up. Patty certification as a GoPro diver. Well, we'll see. Anyway, have a great time. Thanks for listening. Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000.